Krista, did you find out the answer? Uh, no, I have question now number three and number five. Did you uh, get the consistent answers? The uh, rest of it, I got the answer. The last problem you asked me? Oh, remember? yeah. Uh, I okay, but I still got 0 0.033 for the answer. You got the exactly the same answer? Uh, no. <laughs> I got, I still, which I still problem? got 0 0.03. I forgot which problem was that? Uh, number six. Number six. The last problem, yes, or oh, the entropy generation. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll let you uh, uh, have a look at the main answer. Oh yeah, my answer is 0 0.033. You got the same thing now? Uh, I think so, because your answer show the first entropy generation is 0 0.36, but uh, you got two answer for entropy generation. Mm -hmm. Your answer. And mine is same as the second one. Oh, wait, 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 uh, I show you the wrong part because I didn't ask you the wrong part, no, sorry. Um, two, three and seven. Okay, I should. Okay, what did you get? Maybe I. This uh, is I got zero point zero three three. Okay, this is what the, I got, I have. Uh, we got same temperature, but different entropy generation. Uh, I think the you got the temperature correct 300 yes, sir. then uh, what can be wrong can what can cause the discrepancy the flow rate is my uh, entropy generation is equal to m3 dot s3 minus m2 dot s2 minus m1 dot s2 uh, s1 okay so it's okay now uh, but I still got the 0 0.033 because I think you still got the, it. Yeah, the problem is we use different table and the S2 and S1 value is different. No, even, even we use a different entropy table, we are taking the difference. So, so the difference will be the same. Mass flow rate. Um, 
So my N3 dot is three kilogram per second because the mass rate didn't change. So M3 dot is equal to M1 dot plus M2 dot. Okay, S, S3 min, uh, minus S1, the answer uh, I have is uh, based on idea gas. Is that right? Uh, idea gas, when we change the temperature, It's uh, simply, if you look at this, uh, this is the same equation we look at just a few minutes ago. This is the temperature difference, log. Mm -hmm. Two different temperatures, is that right? Yeah, because I, uh, I oh, use it, ST1 you use uh, the table degree. You use the table? Yeah, I use the table to find the ST1 degree and ST2 degree, and I use that number as S1 and S2. Okay. Then I did a linear interpolation to find the S3. Even you use the table, how can the difference be so large? That's something I'm interested in knowing. Can you um, share with me tonight? Yeah, I can take a picture and send to you via email. Uh -huh. I can do it right now. Okay. Dr. Chen? Yes, sir. What problem is this you're we talking about? <laughs> the last problem, number six. Dr. Chen, I send it to you. Oh, you send it to me, okay. I saw you're gonna use the board, uh, your tablet, the whiteboard. But uh, it may be too difficult. Uh, T3, you got T3 exactly right. Then, Entropy generation should the uh, entropy generation be estimate this way. So I see the difference now. The entropy generation equation is M1 dot times S3 minus S1 plus the second term 
m2 dot times s3 minus s2. So this is the difference between your calculation and the, the calculation I have. Okay. You see this equation above the last line? Yes, sir. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this third equation from the last one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Yeah, okay. So other than that, I think we should resolve all the issues. Now, um, before we discuss uh, the homework, any discussion about the uh, policy for the final exam? That's set for next Monday at the eight o'clock. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are we still doing the proctorio thing? Can you speak aloud? Uh, yes, sir. Sorry. Are we still doing the proctorio? Using proctorio? No. no. Okay, I good. decided not to use uh, proctorio and I got the approval already uh, because right. it's, it's too much trouble, uh, too much hassle, and uh, to be fair, um, I'm not going to use uh, Pactoria. But there's still communication among the students will not be allowed in any format, by email, by email anyway, should not, not be allowed. Um, and the exam will be strictly for um, uh, for three hours, three to uh, eight to eleven. For those who need extra time, can have one and a half hours more. But the um, blackboard will stamp the time, so I will look at the time when uh, between your submission and the uh, the the time you start getting the problem okay and uh, anything special um so i uh, the school doesn't want us to uh, uh, have uh, this honesty during the exam so um, i believe the school as a whole made arrangement with uh, with uh, the check. So anyone who use a check, if we suspect, suspect uh, anything special happened, check will provide us the information. Um, I think the school already arranged that. But I hope this will not happen. I think this is a good class. I don't think uh, this should happen. That is also the reason we want to shorten the time to regular time for three hours. All right. Um, that's good to know. Are we going to have another ready citation for um, to kind of Get, kind of get an idea of what's going on with the exam or have we'll, some kind of practice? Yeah, we can have another recitation, say this Friday. Let me see. If you want it, when do you like to have it? This is the last week. Um, so, so, we have uh, one meeting at the 2 p.m. Uh, if you want, we can have a, a, a meeting again, say at the 4 p.m. Friday. That's fine with me. Okay. Anything yeah, else? I'm sorry, Krista. I'm good. Okay.
Any other issue? What was the time again? What? Like what time again was it? I didn't catch it. The time for recitation? Yes. What was it? Friday. Let me write it down. So I send an announcement to everyone. 4 p.m. Friday. That's okay. May, May 1st. 4 p.m. Okay. Anything else? I think the, uh, most of you already get uh, the problem solving skills based on what uh, I saw in the last exam. I think most of you already know the procedures for tackling thermodynamic thermodynamics problem. Um, it's a already document in this slide. I think one of the chapter we went through, we discussed the procedures and uh, I also mentioned that, emphasize that. Uh, so I urge you to follow the same procedure to tackle the problem. Okay, anything else? Then uh, uh, I'm still making preparation for the final exam. I don't know uh, how many problems I want to give you, maybe three. Uh, if um, most of the problems see uh, may involve both first law and the second law. I would like you it's not really very hard. Uh, I think most of you already got the point. Um, if you set up the first law equation, second law equation, uh, like even for the mixing problem we discussed uh, a few minutes ago, the involved material balance, energy balance, entropy balance, if you write the key equations, put it in, uh, you get uh, most of the points, about 50% of the points. Uh, identify the key equation, eliminate the unnecessary terms, and uh, then I believe that you can get about 50% of the points. Um, that's have been my policy, okay, for this number six. Um, we can discuss more Friday. I think this is a good class. So uh, we can move forward. How about the exam uh, for the homework? Any discussions? I have a question on number three and five. Number five. Okay, lost work. Yeah, lost work we identify in the lecture is uh, a T of the reservoir, T low times entropy generation. So, uh, uh, do you remember that equation? Should I dig it out? Yeah, I mean, for pro problem five, you only mentioned it's an ideal gas, but. Yes, for ideal gas, we still can have uh, entropy generation because it doesn't say it's reversible, isn't it?
idea gas, idea batic, but that's a mean it's irreversible. So we may still have an entropy generation term. So how do we estimate that? Ideal gas temperature remains Let me see. adiabatic if uh, we are asked to find the loss work. Loss work is defined, the key equation, every time you see the loss, the term loss work, you activate this equation. Uh, do you want me to activate it? Uh, is that the, in PowerPoint number eight, 18? Let me take that out, numbers. It may even be chapter six. Okay, this is uh, chapter six. Let me uh, link it. Let me link it to chapter six. Slide 35 of uh, chapter six. It, uh, from this analysis, we found the loss work. So you have to be sensitive to this word, uh, word this phrase. Loss work means um, an available work caused by the irreversibility equal to temperature of the reservoir. Okay, be aware this is not the fluid temperature. This is the reservoir temperature times entropy generation. So the problem because how do we estimate the entropy generation in the process? For idea gas through an adiabatic process, What is uh, entropy generation? We say for idea gas 
Does it say I sent traffic? Can we say TDS? Evaporation. For idea gas, let me This involves both temperature and the pressure change. Um, so I did it. Let me check if I Can we use uh, this equation, equation 6.16, to estimate the entropy change? And uh, the answer I got is uh, ignore this, but uh, I have trouble to claim this term is zero. The answer I got is uh, based on this term only. So I need to find out if this solution has problem. I didn't look in great detail. Um, so and, this, uh, yes. Sorry, and also I didn't mention which ideal gas in this what? in this problem. You only tell us it's an ideal gas but they didn't mention which what kind of i like what specific ideal gas it is like it's air or what else so we have problem founding r ideal if you gas didn't tell us can you use your whiteboard i can It's um, interesting to know. Uh, now I read it. Adiabatic nozzle. We know the pressure, we know the flow rate. Uh, 
Ah. <laughs> okay. I understand. Do we need it to know what to guess? I mean, if you want to use that equation, you need to find R. And you know, you need to know what kind of ideal gas it is. This all depends on material, yes. But uh, on the other hand, when you combine this uh, with the right term, so the specific quantity comes in now. You agree? This all indeed depend on the gas, but uh, uh, we are going to convert to mass flow rate. Then we're going to convert mass to moles. And the problem statement give us moles. So you can assume air, then eventually come out the same. Okay, so this is not a serious issue. The issue to me is why the first term, the temperature, the fluid temperature change become not important. That's something I need to think about uh, based on my answer. They also did include this term. I will communicate with you all by email about my concern about the temperature change of the fluid. If we want to use equation 6.16, the fluid, would it change the temperature? It's an idea about it. Yes. Okay. Now I know, for many nozzles, now I know, for many nozzles, gas passing through the nozzle, did we say we can assume it's a constant enthalpy? Yes, for ideal gas passing through the nozzle, the fluid, the temperature doesn't change. Let me show you the argument. Does anyone remember? This is something in the earlier chapter. We say for idea gas passing through a nozzle, the temperature will not change much. This is something we can argue based on idea gas law. Let me idea gas. From the first law.
on the first law, and we argue that the outer edge through a nasal, this is a study guide I prepare for the second semester thermal. If we look at um, the first law in this form, equation eight, what do we conclude? If we ignore the kinetic energy change, if we ignore the potential energy change, if there's no work done, then what happened? Delta H equal to zero. Then delta H equal to integral of CP dt, right? CP is a positive term. So the effect of temperature is uh, nearly zero. If delta H equal to the integral of CP dt, CP is always a positive quantity. If delta H equal to zero, that means the integral of CP dt equal to zero. So T2 will be nearly T1 for nasal. For flu passing through a nasal, we have this term essentially drop out. So that's why for equation five, uh, for problem number five, we are going to have let me close solution like this. Okay, the button line equation, let's see. Yeah, at the bottom, we use the same equation I mentioned earlier, equal to the temperature of the reservoir, the environment, times energy generation. Energy generation for ideal gas with only pressure change equal to minus R times log P2 over P1. Okay. Do I make my point clear? Yes. It, this is a useful equation. The loss work term is important. Any other discussions? Any questions? I have problem on number three too. Number which which problem? Three. Number three. Yes. How about number three? Three. It involves um, both first law and the second law. So you need to use the first law and the second law. Do you have a specific question? Uh, I try to find the H2 for the water by using the Q dot is 
for uh, the kit up for H2O and for air, they are the same. So I can use that to find H2 for water. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how to like, but but the number it turns out is five thousand, and it's too big for checking out the table. So I think I mess up somewhere, and I don't know how to do that. You know how to do it? No. I kind of have some idea, but yeah, the number is you wrong. Q um, first law says. Uh, first law and a steady state. W term drop out and uh, ignore the kinetic energy change and the potential energy change and uh, the entropy of uh, the four states, two string, two four states can be found from the table, is that right? Uh, yes. Okay, then um, you should be able to generate Q. Rate of heat transfer. Did you get Minus 131.4 kilojoules per kilogram. Did you get uh, minus 131.4? Uh, no. No? And I also can find, I cannot find the uh, H2 and S2 for the water because you only give the temperature and the pressure and it turns out it's a, ah, okay. it's a two phase. I see. I and, see. and you didn't give the X and mm -hmm. anything else. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I can't find the H2 and S2 for the state two uh, water. Okay, let's uh, do this. If uh, we look at the If we define the string uh, water as uh, 
inlet of water is uh, state one, outlet state two, air enter as uh, state three and uh, going out as state four. Then uh, <clears throat> the he here's the answer I got. First law reduced to this uh, form, then okay. The air. Can we use uh, ideal gas law CP delta T to estimate? the change in enthalpy. Yes, I get the answer. So you got it? I got a change of age for air and equal to 15.075 kilojoules per kilogram. You cannot get what quantity? Uh, I get the change of age for air uh huh. Which is fifteen point zero seven five. Water you can get it from the table. Is that right? I can get H one uh, and S one, but I can I cannot get H two because it is two phase. You cannot get what the the state two for state uh, two state two for water the outlet water. Okay. Because uh, it is, I think it's two phase water super could it. What is, did, did we say it's a water nearly 220 degrees C? Yes. Yeah. So water at the 20 degrees C, liquid water. Can we find the enthalpy? We can get an approximate number. HF for water is uh, nearly uh, 83.96 kilojoules per kilogram. Yes, but it is for saturated sat saturated liquid, but you didn't mention the state two water is also statute. Mm -hmm. Such a soon. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll put a note. I will make an announcement later today. Liquid at uh, 293K. Okay. Any other questions? From anyone? No?
Any other questions? No? Don't hesitate to ask questions. I know uh, Krista solved a lot of problems already. So, uh, if uh, you have questions, this is an opportunity. Uh, for the chapter six homework due last week, could you go over number six? For the chapter six homework, it was due last Wednesday, right? Yes, I'm wondering, could we go over number six? Because I'm not sure if I got that or not. Uh, did you check Blackboard? Oh, did he post the comments on it? If uh, the grade, the TA graded, uh, he's supposed to put it the grade up immediately. I mean, would he make a comment though? You, alongside the grade. You want us to make an announcement? It has been graded. No, no, no. What I'm asking is, um, does the TA after grading it does he make comments I saying don't know. if we did? Okay. I don't know. Did you see it? The comment? No? Uh, I'm checking right now. It's uh, difficult to make comment, but I did make uh, some comment on the exam. Quite great. And then Uh, there's no grade for um, the homework chapter six. Okay, I will yeah. uh, remind him. Uh, yeah, he has his own coursework, so I anticipate uh, this is going to be a tough week for him too. He has his own homework in the final exam, but I will push anyone because you need to know you are standing. Any other comment? Um, can you go over the problem three for chapter seven again? Cause number three. Yeah. Okay. So, if uh, after, okay, before we know. If, let's look at the first and the first question. This is the sketch how we define the four states. First two states are uh, associated with uh, water, and uh, state three and the four are associated with air. Then the key is to identify. The first law as our walking equations. And we already said uh, for air, we use uh, idea gas law CP delta T. And uh, for water, we can find the data from the tables. And uh, we get this answer. Okay, this is the first part. And the second part, and the entropy generation. For the entropy generation, we use um, the equation we have been using. The second equation, yellow marked. 
and uh, all we need to do is uh, plug in the numbers from the table. I understand you need to know that it's a liquid water for the exceeding stream. Okay, so delta S Yeah, this um, particular book is a signal to designate entropy generation This is a good question because it involves heat transfer, it involves changing in entropy, which involves phase change. And the phase change, no, uh, entropy change for ideal gas. So there are three, uh, two, at least two entropy changes they are estimated based on two different approaches. For liquid water, we use evaporation energy. That's what we show on the, in the second term on the left, this uh, short-term entropy. This is for water this is for ideal gas and uh, this is for heat transfer okay any other questions Shall we adjourn? You can still communicate with me by email. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> Have a good rest of the day. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Thank you. See you.